A girl named Molly is working with her dad, Sam, as a private investigator to take pictures of a senator who is having an affair. After everything seems to go well for a while, Molly is caught and the senator runs after her. He soon catches up with her, but as he tells her to give him the camera, she manages to get past him and escape. Days later, Molly is on another mission at a restaurant, but a man named Armin comes over to talk to her. Molly says she's not interested, and Armin leaves her side only to go and meet the man she's trying to investigate to tell him what Molly is doing. Molly doesn't appreciate it, and Armin then introduces himself as an FBI agent. He says he has a mission he wants her to help the agency with. Armin says the FBI has just found a man called Jason, who is ready to testify against a mafia boss he used to work for. However, the FBI believes the mafia boss has planted someone to be a threat to Jason's daughter Alex, so he doesn't confess. Armin also mentions that Jason has given his daughter some incriminating ledgers as a bargaining chip, so he needs Molly to go undercover to find the ledgers and also figure out the person who is secretly watching Alex. Molly asks why he couldn't get someone at the agency to do it, but Armin says she's the best fit. As they walk out, Armin says he has been monitoring her for a while and he knows everything about her late mom and her father, who is an ex-cop who was kicked off the force unjustly. Armin also offers her some money, but Molly says she's not interested, though he gives her his card in case she changes her mind. When Molly gets home, she doesn't see her father Sam at home, and it only takes a while before she realizes that he has been gambling again. When he returns, Molly asks where he went, but he lies about it. However, Molly says she knows he went out to gamble again. The way she decodes it is so good that Sam is impressed. She asks him how it went, and Sam says even though he was really close to making a lot of money to pay up the lawyer, who would take up his case and get him back on the force, he lost around $17,000. With this, Molly realizes that she has to accept Armin's offer to help her dad. The next day, after calling Armin, he asks her to meet up at a discreet location. There, Molly tells him to increase his offer to $20,000, and he agrees. He then introduces her to a lady named Busy, who will teach her how to blend in at Alex's college. After a while, Armin also gives Molly more details on the mission. He gives her a phone she'll be using publicly, and another one which he'll be using to contact her. Armin also shows her the car she'll be driving, and shortly after she gets dressed and looks ready to head to the school to begin the mission, with Armin saying she needs to be Alex's best friend. Molly leaves and heads for the sorority house. She'll be staying in. As she gets there, she meets a girl named Sasha, who is the leader of the sorority group. Sasha welcomes her to the house, and as she takes Molly to her room, she talks about how she modeled in Croatia before coming to college. As they're talking, Molly sees Alex walking towards them, and she takes this opportunity to say something about a summer camp Alex went to. But though Alex says she doesn't recognize her, Molly manages to handle the situation so well that Alex believes they went to the same camp. Molly then says she's happy to already have a friend here, and Alex doesn't seem to have a problem with it. Just then, Sasha shows Molly to her room, and when she's alone, Molly starts to check her things. Shortly after, her roommate, Becky, comes in and welcomes Molly to the house. The next day, while walking around, Molly sees a nice bike and goes closer. As she looks at it, she sees the owner, Nicholas, and talks about the bike parts. Nicholas is surprised that she knows so much about the bike and he asks if she's a student. Molly asks if she doesn't look like one, and Nicholas says it's hard to find a lady in the college who has a good knowledge of bikes. Before she talks too much or says something that will blow her cover, Molly walks away. That night, while the girls prepare for a welcome back ceremony in the house, Alex and Molly talk about their camp again. Molly also sees Alex's necklace and she says it's a gift, after which she tucks it inside her shirt. When all the girls are through with dressing up, they head to the room where the ceremony will take place. However, Molly first checks if all the cameras in the dolls she placed around the house are functioning. After she confirms that they're all working, she heads to the event. While Sasha is giving a speech welcoming the girls back to the house after a long summer break, Molly sees a shadow of someone trying to sneak up on Alex from behind the curtain. Because she thinks it might be someone who is after Alex, Molly throws down her candle and runs to protect Alex, though it only turns out to be some boys trying to record the girls during the ceremony. However, Molly's candle lights up the curtains and sets a part of the room on fire. All the girls are not happy with this, and they blame Molly for ruining the ceremony. The next day, while Molly is heading to class, she sees Alex talking to Nicholas and keeps a close watch on them. 
In class with a professor named Talloway, Molly has a very interesting opinion about the topic the professor is talking about, and this leaves everyone surprised. After the class, Nicholas catches up with Molly to commend her for the opinion she gave in class. Molly says she didn't really know what she was talking about, and as she walks with Alex and Nicholas, they see a girl named Summer going out with a doctor named Milton, and Molly immediately decodes that Summer is having an affair with him. Nicholas and Alex are shocked by this, but Molly again says she doesn't know what she's talking about. Before she says anything else, she tells them she has to leave. That night, while watching the live camera footage on her laptop, Molly sees Alex sneaking out of the house, and she uses this as an opportunity to search Alex's room. She sneaks into the room and starts looking around, but doesn't find anything. But Alex's roommate, Taylor, soon catches her. Molly lies that she came to borrow something from Alex, and she's lucky that Taylor believes her. As she's heading to her room, she gets a text from Armin asking to meet up. A while later, she meets up with him and says there are no dangerous people in the house. However, Armin shows her newspaper with a report about Busy being killed. Armin says the mafia boss got Busy killed, and he tells Molly to take the mission seriously and that she should look out for anyone who is not who they say they are. He also tells her to find out whatever she can about the bargaining chip. That night, when Molly is sleeping in her room, a girl named Cotton sneaks in to scare her, but she brings out a gun, thinking it's a dangerous person. Molly asks why Cotton sneaked into the room, and Becky explains that it's all part of the house's tradition to prepare everyone for a frat party. Cotton then asks if Molly sleeps with a gun, but she says it's not real. Cotton snatches it from her and plays with it, but Molly quickly gets it back. At the frat party, Nicholas is also around, and he asks if he can take Molly out to a jazz club, but she says she's not interested. The next day after class, Molly sees Alex talking to Professor Talloway, and she starts to suspect that something might be happening between them. That day, Molly goes to meet Armin again to give him an update. She tells him about Professor Talloway, but she says she's yet to find the connection. Molly also says Sasha is hiding something because she lied about going to Croatia. Armin asks about Nicholas, but Molly says there's nothing to report about him. Because of how she talks about him, Armin suspects that she already likes him. She, however, says she doesn't, and he's the one who asked her out on a date. Armin tells her to go on the date with Nicholas so she can find out more about him. Later that day, she meets up with Nicholas and tells him she wants to go out with him. He takes her to a jazz club and there, she asks personal questions about him. He initially ignores the questions and Molly calls him out for it, but he says he was only distracted. On their way home, Nicholas talks about how his dad left his mom. When he asks about her parents, though, Molly ignores the question. Nicholas says he doesn't get why she can't talk about herself, and Molly says she doesn't trust people easily. However, Nicholas assures her that he won't disappoint her. She then says she hopes that. As she returns to her room, Taylor comes in to show her a doll they're supposed to sell for a sorority competition they have to win. The next day, they start working on a plan to make sales, but because they have nothing concrete, they're unable to sell as much as another group that is making money by setting up a car wash. As Sasha and the other girls sound pessimistic about their chances, Molly assures them that they can still win. She comes up with a plan and decides to blackmail Dr. Milton. She catches him while he's with Summer and takes some pictures. She then goes to show him while threatening to release it to his wife if he doesn't buy their dolls. The next day, Dr. Milton buys all the dolls, and the girls are all happy about this except Sasha, who is jealous. Later that day, she comes to Molly's room and gives her a bracelet, saying it's a gift for what she did. However, the next day, when Cotton sees Molly wearing it, she accuses Molly of stealing it from her. Molly says Sasha gave it to her, but Sasha denies it and blames all the things missing in the house on Molly. When they also go to Molly's room, most of the girls find their things, leaving Molly shocked. This makes all the girls dislike Molly, much to Sasha's happiness. That night, Molly calls her dad to help her find something about Sasha, but he's unable to get anything. He then tells Molly that he's off to his group therapy meeting, which is helping him get rid of his gambling addiction. Molly is happy to hear this and says she's proud of him. The next day, when Sasha leaves her room, Molly sneaks in to find something she can use against her. Luckily, she finds a yearbook and sees that Sasha is not who she says she is. When Sasha returns, Molly confronts her, but Sasha says she had a terrible past, and with college, she decided to start all over. Despite what she did, Molly offers to help Sasha embrace who she is. During a meeting with the other girls, Molly tells everyone that Sasha stole their things, but 
she gives a great speech that allows the girls to feel sorry for Sasha. After the meeting, Molly sees Alex leaving the house. She follows her, but Alex says she has big problems to deal with, and it's nothing like Molly has faced. As she leaves in her car, Molly tracks her down and ends up at Professor Talloway's house. Molly doesn't understand their relationship, so she starts following Talloway around the next day. Shortly after, though, Armin comes to the school to see Molly. He tells her he found new information regarding Busy's death, and it led him to Nicholas, who he says works for the Mafia boss. Molly doesn't believe this, and mentions that Professor Talloway might be an actual suspect, but Armin tells her Nicholas is the one she should be worried about. That night, while at a frat party, Molly sees Alex leaving in her car. Before she follows, she takes Nicholas into her room and cuffs him just as she shouts at him for betraying her trust. She then punches his face to knock him out, after which she leaves. She follows Alex to Talloway's house, and this time, she sneaks in. As she looks around, she sees her face on several files and realizes that Professor Talloway is an FBI agent. Before she can understand what's happening, a masked man attacks her, and even though he has the chance to shoot her, he spares her life. As she looks confused as to why he spared her life, Molly realizes that it's Armin, and he has been using her. Molly then heads out and sees Talloway already wounded outside the house. She explains her case to him and calls an ambulance for him. He then tells her that Armin already took Alex because she has the ledgers, which is the bargaining chip Armin is looking for. Just then, Armin texts Molly to meet him. When she does, Molly immediately tells him that she knows his plan, which is to pin everything on her after he kills Alex. Armin says she's right, but Molly tells him she has the ledgers. Armin is surprised to hear this, and Molly says she'll only give him if he releases Alex. He offers to pay for it, but Molly says she only wants Alex. She eventually leaves, and when she gets to the sorority house, she sees two FBI agents there. They ask about what she knows, and after she tells them, they tell her to stay off the case. However, Molly says she already has a plan, and she's only waiting for Armin's call, because he thinks she has the ledgers. She adds that he's smart, and they need to have a backup plan in case the first one fails. Just as the FBI agents leave the house, Molly tells her friends that Alex is in trouble and they need to team up to rescue her. A while later, the FBI agents return to the school and start preparing Molly for the meetup with Armin using fake ledgers. When he calls her, she heads out to meet him, but he's already aware that there are FBI agents at the school, so he uses a frequency jammer to block off their earphones. He then takes Molly a few steps away to check the ledgers. As he realizes it's not the real ones, Cotton sees Molly and informs her that she has seen the ledgers she was looking for. Molly tells Cotton to shut up, but Armin asks where the ledgers are. When Armin says he's Molly's dad, Cotton tells him the ledgers are in the chapter room inside the sorority house. He then takes her into his car, where she sees Alex looking really weak. Molly secretly puts on a micro earphone as he drives to the house. Then turns out that Sam is nearby, and there's actually a backup plan that involves Molly's friends. When they get to the house, Armin brings Molly down and tells her that there's a bomb under the car, and if anyone goes close to it, he'll blow it up and kill Alex. Sam confirms this, and he tells Sasha and the other girls to bump into Armin to steal his car keys from his jacket. Sasha and the other girls do this well, but suddenly, Nicholas shows up asking for an explanation for what Molly did to him the other day. Sam is confused because it's not part of the plan, but Armin doesn't seem bothered as he keeps dragging Molly to the chapter room. When they get there, Molly sprays a chemical on his face, but it doesn't seem to work. As he pushes her away and looks for the ledgers, Nicholas attacks him. Just as Armin gets to knock Nicholas out, Molly grabs Armin and jumps out of the window. She then picks up his gun, but he threatens to set off the bomb. Molly gives back his gun, but he still sets off the bomb and blows up the car. Just as he then points his gun at Molly, Sam shows up with his gun also pointed at Armin. With this, Armin drops his gun, and the chemical she sprayed in his face suddenly kicks in, and he gets really dizzy and starts saying random things. Just before the FBI gets there, Sasha and the other girls arrive with Alex, who had been rescued from the car before Armin blew it up. The other girls soon walk away, and Molly tells Alex she needs the ledgers, after which she opens Alex's necklace pendant and takes the SD card she had been hiding there. After Armin is arrested, the FBI agents praise Molly for her work. They offer her a job, but she says she's going to stay in college. She, however, tells them to help her dad. As she gives them the SD card containing the ledgers, the agents tell her to consider her request done, after which they congratulate Sam on returning to the force. 
As they leave, Nicholas shows up and Molly introduces him to Sam as her boyfriend. As Nicholas and Sam then talk, Molly heads over to meet her friends. While walking back to the house, one of the girls says she heard that some people have infiltrated the sorority council. As she asks how they can find them, Molly says they can go undercover, and this excites the girls as they all go into the house together. Thanks for tuning in. A thumbs up would be amazing because I've got some bills to pay. Oh,